Welcome to another installment of our 2020 Virtual Global and Community Engagement Conference, formerly known as D80. The conference is a dialogue and celebration of our efforts to solve issues that confront the world's poorest 80%. Traditionally, it's a one-day conference featuring multiple in-person panels and breakout sessions. So this year, the conference is being delivered virtually throughout the month of October, including a lecture series, a rosé gallery exhibit, a walking tour, and a series of online interviews with local and global changemakers throughout the Michigan Tech community. My name is Elizabeth Donahue, and I am a member of the conference planning, planning committee. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Lydia Savetsky. Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who is currently the president of Michigan Tech's Tech Tutors Program. Thank you for your time today. First question, please tell, take a few minutes to tell me a little bit about your organization or project. So um, Tech Tutor started last spring throughout the COVID pandemic. Um, it was started by a honors college um, student who actually worked at the honors college. And basically her vision for this program was to try and help K through 12 students who were struggling to learn online. So we started the program um, and we only tutored about 10 students throughout the summer. We asked Michigan Tech students to volunteer to tutor these students and most students that were tutoring, tutored about one hour to two hours a week throughout the summer. Um, we tutored students um, in all different ages. We tutored some high school students. We were able to help a high school student test out of um, pre-calc, pre which was really awesome and a really good experience for our tutor who, who tutored that student because she wanted to become a professor. Um, and then we also tutored like even younger students, like second to um, fifth grade students in we even were able to complete some science experiments with them um, at home. So that was kind of the goal of the um, program. And so now, now that um, we're able to kind of build the program even more, we're asking um, Michigan Tech students to volunteer to tutor. Right now we have about 30 tutors signed up to tutor this semester. And um, they will be tutoring K through 12 students just like we did throughout the summer. Um, and it was nice to kind of have that summer um program as well because we were able to kind of work out all of the issues and stuff so that we can make it run smoothly this fall um and i think that this program is needed now more than ever because um houghton schools have just closed down for the next few weeks and tech is closing down for the next few weeks so learning online is going to be even more challenging so i think this program will really help some of those students who are struggling to learn online yeah i agree that's awesome um, how does your work or project connect with the mission of the global of the GCEG conference and or this year's theme of the pursuit of social equity and representation? Yeah, so we are definitely trying to um, help those students who are struggling on to learn online and some of them um, might have um, struggles learning because of their home environment or because they have learning disabilities or things like that. So that is one thing that we are trying to cater towards. We are um, communicating with the school counselors um, to make sure that we're tutoring um, all like students who are in need, not just um, students who hear about this program, but like we're making sure that students who might not hear about it will hear about it and are able to get free tutoring. Um, I think that the fact that we're offering free tutoring is another way that we're kind of helping with um, social equity um, because we are trying to tutor without um, having anyone pay for this, this, these services. Yeah. Do you guys happen to tutor for multiple types of languages? We um, tutor French and Spanish so far. Um, so that has been really cool. Um, but I'm pretty sure the Houghton schools only offer Spanish. So uh, most of our tutors have just been tutoring Spanish. I think you're right about the Houghton schools. I just think that's another way to pursue representation. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So how did you get involved with this work and how has it impacted you personally and the communities you serve? Um, so I got involved because one of my professors um, talked to me about this program that they were kind of starting. They hadn't really made anything official yet. Their vision was really just to help K through 12 students who were struggling to learn online. So then um, we, I kind of was like a part of the leadership group who kind of started the program up. And um, 
then the person whose idea this was um, had graduated and it is now going to med school. So it was kind of up to me to like step up to the plate and become the president of the org, um, which has been really awesome for me because I've learned a lot. And I've also been able to help a lot of students, which has been really awesome. So I guess we're kind of just um, serving the community by helping students, but also helping parents by like taking off the burden of having to teach their kid at home. Um, so that's kind of what we're trying to do. Yeah, I think that's huge with transitioning to online, giving parents like that hour of break just to like have them learn with someone else. And I think it'll be good for the kids to not feel so surrounded in their home environment as well. Yeah, but, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I, our oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that I also was able to tutor. Um, so I was able to watch a student like grow and actually get really excited about learning because initially when I started tutoring him, he was like failing his class um, in math and he was really struggling. He was really frustrated. And then by the end of our tutoring sessions, he was so excited to learn this topic and he had brought his grade up like 20 to 30 percent. So it was really awesome to see that. Um, and I think that's another way that we're helping the community. Yeah, that's awesome. And that'll be huge for the kids as well. But to wrap up our time, what's one takeaway that you'd like others to know about this initiative or any final thoughts you'd like to share? Ooh, that's a hard question. <laughs> um, I guess one takeaway would be that um, it is important to stay connected during this time. And this program is really striving to like help students stay connected to their learning and also to help mentor these students so that they can become even um, better students in the future, teach them good um, studying skills and things like that. So um, I guess it's just important to like stay connected during this pandemic. And this is what this program is trying to do. So in closing, please provide us with your contact information if someone else would like to learn more or get involved. Yeah, so we actually have a website um, that I can send you a link to and you can also email Tech tutors at mtu.edu anytime, um, or you can email me at my MTU email as well. Thanks for joining us for this interview. Be sure to check out all of our interviews with other change makers. Simply go to mtu.edu and enter Global and Community Engagement Conference into the search tab. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.